What's up, y'all? <laughs> it's your boy. Tell you, tell, you, tell you what happened, man. And uh, this shit crazy. Like, it ain't one thing, it's another. And I'm starting to see a pattern to this shit. <laughs> and it's it's getting it's getting wild. Hold on, I'm trying to get my stuff. You know what I'm saying situated because I'm packing up for the weekend. You know, I, I, the later the later I get back on Saturdays, that means I ain't have a full day. So Monday, I'm gonna take me a day because I need two days. Cause being on this road is a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And with that being said, Chef, Fern, Review, yeah, okay, 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 so I got everything signed in, I ain't got nothing here, I'm right, ready to go, alright, so, boom, you know, I know, camera angle probably you know what I'm saying it's crazy just bear bear with me I'm 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 finna I probably couldn't edit this video but try to be as realistic as I can shit let this let this damn window never know What might happen? Who might try to get in? in anything. So you can hear me. All right. Let me get into this shit. Okay. What's up? All right. Look here. I, I'm just not getting back. For my load that I got Friday, which I wasn't supposed to get back this late. If I get back sometime before noon, I'd be straight. But when I get back on a Saturday, then I'm supposed to be off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it pissed me off. And I'm finna start telling them, like, hey, I need my two days off. If I don't get my two days off, then we're gonna have a problem. I might end up really just switching back to Tuesday through Saturday. But I kind of don't because I need the weekend. You know what I'm saying? So I'm finna, I'm finna start playing with these folks. But, uh, anywho. Yeah, so, tell you what happened on this last load of the week for me. This is this is what frustrates me dealing with these dispatches. You know what I'm saying? The management, then we just so happen to have a survey. And I'm, I'm being 100 on the survey. I don't give a damn. Cause it don't make me none. Cause in backlash after a survey, I'm, I'm clicking like, hey, I did my survey. Then all of a sudden this start happening. It ain't no coincidence. You know what I'm saying? So basically what happened was I got my load for Thursday. On Wednesday. But I didn't get able to get there until Friday. Got my load Friday. They didn't switch it and get it to nobody else. They kept me on it. But the load looked funny because I done seen this shit before. It had like a, a mandatory on my second stop. I'm like, anybody know you get a mandatory? A mandatory is usually, uh, you know, you got a window. You got to be there between like 5 in the morning and like 7 before they open. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking at it. And it's looking odd to me. So, boom. I go and I tell, them, I tell my dispatcher, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you know what I'm saying? They got a mandatory on my second stop. He was like, ah. He texted me and was like, uh, I don't think that's really a mandatory. You know what I'm saying? Go and deliver. Anybody who drive for DG, I'm going to tell you like this. Whenever they, whenever it pops up in yellow and it's a mandatory, they tell you to go and deliver don't do it. They setting you up. But once you get down there and they don't take it, guess what? You got to sit there overnight. You got to sit there overnight. When you sit there overnight, you're wasting my time. You're wasting money. Because once they get you down there, they feel like they paying you. Now you're sitting on the clock. You know what I'm saying? So, 
Then they got this little thing like delay pay. They ain't trying to pay you delay pay. So I'm looking at this. Yeah, y'all trying to cut down on the delay pay or however y'all got it set up on delay pay. If I go take this this delivery out and don't nobody like they can't take it because it was a mandatory store, that mean I'm sitting. And if you drive like me, I don't like wasting my time. My time is money. So I'm not gonna be sitting down here wasting nobody's time and they money. Feel what I'm saying? Yeah, lying on the sofa, which is terrible. So, boom. So, anywho, so I get down here to the store, and they telling me like, "Hey, we're a mandatory store." Not only are they a, are they a mandatory store, I can't deliver simply because they're impacted and they need a sweep. My delivery area is covered in road trainers with cardboard and, and nesting. The parking lot is so small that their customers basically fill up the parking lot. That I, I had trouble even getting into that motherfucker. So boom, okay, now you got that going on. Okay, and their store is not allowed to have any product on the floor at the time. That's why they're mandatory and they, got, they, they want you to be there in the morning. So I called my dispatch. Dispatch, he sends me the voicemail. So I called my secondary dispatch. Boom. She uh she's like she's she uh what's going on? I tell her the situation and whatnot. She's like, well, let me get in contact with that DTM because you know um I'm 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 going. I got one I'm doing already, so I I'll try to get back with you. So I said okay. So I sent her a picture of everything that I told her. I sent her a picture, right? Tell me why I I sent her a picture. I'm sitting beside the assistant manager and the manager were standing outside. And 10 minutes after standing outside with them, their uh, district manager calls and said, hey, why are y'all denying a load, a fresh load? A fresh load, first of all, I'm not even fresh, I'm dry. Like she, she's, the manager tell her, she was like, I ain't denying no load or whatnot, you know? She was like, um, and, and fresh, we've been to fresh, this is a dry load. You know what I'm saying? She was like, dry. I was like, yeah. I was, so I grabbed the phone. I was like, excuse me, ma'am. I said, this is your driver. I talked to my dispatcher like firsthand, and we was all sitting up here on speakerphone. Never, No one never denied the load. We were just letting them know that you're impacted. If you do know you're impacted, they said, you know, yeah, but but, but we still got to take it because if, if, um, if, it goes back, then they're going to have to pay for it out of pocket. I'm like, I ain't never heard of no manager and assistant manager. If they deny a load, it goes back and they're responsible and they have to pay for it out of pocket. Never heard of that. Sounds like what I'm going to get into, which is forced compliance. Okay. In the midst of that, I'm sitting up here like, okay. I looked at the manager. Manager, she was like, you see that? See how they lied and twisted the words? No one never denied a load. I said, that's what they do. They, they will lie on you to the next person because it sounds better and it gets shit done. They're ready for you to be pissed off than them being pissed off. So what I, t what I told them was, I said, that's the shit I go through all the time. They lie to cover their ass. It's forced compliance. Like if I was really pissed off, like I really just took this shit back and be like, hey, y'all lied to me on the load. It's, a, it's another load. I need conversation. I need 10 hours, which they, they agreed to pay me and they paid me my 10 hours for sitting because they killed my clock. I was supposed to been literally. I was supposed to been home like at seven o'clock this morning for real. So, you know what I'm saying. Um, doing that, um, I was like, that's that's forced compliance. If you drive, bro, you better listen to these folks and 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 mean what you say and say what you mean and listen carefully because they will use. I'm calling the forced compliance. They will use words that like threaten your job. Or to like threaten you to make you think like if you don't do it they'll fire you. Man, if you got CDLs, bro, if they fire you, they fire you. But the thing is, I, I'm willing to go that extra yard. You fired me for what? 
for doing for not being comfortable doing a job that y'all lied about for not being uh for for not wanting to uh refusing to drive so many miles and get down there in a situation that i don't want to be in losing money Brad, my time is money, man. When I'm in this truck, as long as that truck is moving, I'm making money. When that truck is not moving according to my daily routine and my trip planning, I'm losing money. So if I'm losing money, you costing me my money, my weekly pay. You see what I'm saying? They don't care about that. They just want that shit move. So when you listen to them and they do something called force compliance, y'all better listen to them and understand, bro, you are human. You don't get in that truck, you don't move. Guess what? They lose money because they, that, that, two thousand dollars that they was gonna pay you bro they just really lost about ten to fifteen thousand dollars because you didn't drive they taking the bigger hell so they trying to compensate you see what i'm saying so just understand man at the end of the day y'all are more important to yourself sanity than to these folks down here man. you know what i'm saying and this is just my my opinion like i said i ain't left yet but I'm just giving y'all what goes on on a day-to-day basis to be careful out here. Because I drive all day. But when it affects my money, I, I, that's something I ain't going to have. I need compensated for my time. My time is money, man.